Hi there and welcome to another video from me Mr Arnold. This video we're going to take a look at areas starting from the top and uh, working our way up. We're going to start at level 4 and hopefully build up to some level 5 stuff by the end and by the end of the lesson hopefully you'll be able to uh, find the area for various different shapes. Okay so let's uh, let's just pose a little question before we go on and start talking about the maths behind this. Um, suppose I asked you which pitch is the biggest here. We've got Old Trafford, the Emirates, uh, the New Camp and the San Siro. Um, and we can see uh, how long and how wide each pitch is. But suppose I'm asking the question, right, which pitch is the biggest? Suppose we look at Old Trafford and the Emirates. Old Trafford is longer than the Emirates. However, the Emirates is wider. So what sort of impact will that have on the size of the pitch? Um, and similarly here, we can look at the new Camp. The new Camp has a length of 106. It's, um, it's longer than the San Siro uh, by two meters. However, the width is 62 and the width for the San Siro is 64. So uh, the San Siro is two meters wider. Now, what sort of impact does that have on the size of the pitch? Um, and hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll actually be able to answer this question, no problem. Um, just for the record, by the way, uh, these lengths and widths are made up. They're completely fictional. Um, I've just used these numbers for the purposes of the video. Anywho, let's move on. Maybe you can answer that question at the end. Right, so we need uh, we need this thing in maths that we call area. And uh, basically what area is, it's a way to describe an amount of surface. So in other words, if we think back of our pitches, how can I describe how much space or how much surface is taken up by the pitches? Okay, so we need this concept of area in order to describe that. So it's a way of measuring or counting um, the amount of surface taken up. Okay, so suppose i want to know well how much surface does my rectangle here take up so in other words what's its area so if i want to calculate well how much surface could i put uh, could i cover in red here no, i'm not going to color the whole thing and we'll be here all day um so i want to calculate um how much space is taken up well what, what i can do is i can uh, I can take my image here and I can put it over a grid like so. So let's just color it in again. Um, so there's my my rectangle and I've, uh, I've put a grid underneath it. And what I it, suppose I say to myself, well, what if I say that um, each square of surface or squared unit is one unit squared one unit squared let's just tidy that up a bit so each square is going to be one unit squared so each little box is one unit squared and i ask well let's just count the number of boxes and that will tell me how much surface is taken up so let's uh, have a little count of this um one two three four five six a really poor choice of color let's change uh seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen so this rectangle has an area we can say its area is eighteen units squared so there's 18 uh, squares within that rectangle and we can also shorten that down and say that a equals 18 units squared okay let's uh, let's have a look at another one and um, if I want to calculate the area again I can just count the number of squares inside and that tells me how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the area, the area is 12 units squared. Or just for convenience, we can say that A is 12 units squared. Okay, what about if we have a slightly stranger looking shape here on our grid um, and we're asked to calculate its area? Well, let's just count all the whole squares first. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And oh, we forgot one here, 10. So we've got 10 whole squares. And then we've also got half a square here and half a square here where we can say, well, that plus that is going to be one. And that plus that is gonna also be one. So overall, we've got the 10 red whole ones plus these two ones. So altogether, this shape has an area of 12 units squared. I was gonna write squared there, uh, 12 units squared. Okay, so I got a little challenge for you here actually before we give you some questions to do. Um, how many different rectangles can you draw that have an area of 12 units squared? So just use the squares in your books to, uh, to have a go at this problem here. How many different rectangles? And remember, each rectangle must have exactly 12 of these squares in it. Okay, um, let's move on to some problems. So I want you to find the area of these shapes. So if you want, you can pause the video now and count away. Right, so let's see if we can uh, find a slightly quicker way to, uh, to go about this process, particularly of finding areas of rectangles because we can actually break lots of different shapes into rectangles. So if we can work out the area of rectangles, there's lots of different things we can do. Um, so suppose I have this rectangle here and I want to work out its area. Um, I certainly don't want to count all the squares in there because um, we'll be here forever. So I'm going to see if I can um, use some mathematical skills to speed up the process. If, um, if we look at this particular rectangle, we can see that it's made up of groups of blocks, actually. Um, here we've got a group of five. So we've got blocks arranged in groups of five. And well, if I was to just wonder, well, how many groups of five are there? So what we could do is I've got this, this one here, this group of five, and then I've got the one beside it and so on and so forth, right the way down the rectangle. So I can see I've got all these groups of five. Well, how many groups of five are there in total? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There is eleven groups of five. So there's five lots of eleven or eleven lots of five. So to work out the area really quickly, the area is is going to be five lots of 11 or 11 lots of five, whichever way you want to look at it, which is going to be equal to five times 11, which is 55 units squared. So a much more efficient way to um, work out the area of a rectangle. Let's just formalize now what we've just discussed. So suppose we have a, a rectangle and the rectangle has some length, let's call it, well, let's call it length to start and then we'll make it simple in a second. And this is what we call the width of the rectangle. Now, if I want to calculate the area, we simply do the length times by the width. So if we call our length L and we called the width W, let's just change the color here. Um, so the length is L, the width is W, and the area, or we can call it A, is going to be equal to the length multiplied by the width. Okay, and um, let's just take a look at a square because a square is, is, is a little bit like a rectangle. It, it shares a lot of similar properties. Um, but one special thing about the square is that um, all sides are the same. So if, if this square had a length of, well, let's call it L, its length, well, this side is the same. So we, this can have the same name. We can also call that the length. We can also call that L. 
and the area would be calculated much in the same way. The area will equal the length times by the width. So A equals L times, well, the width we've already recognized is the same as, uh, the same as the length. So L times L. And sometimes we call that L squared. When we take a number and we multiply it by itself, we get L squared. Okay, so let's just do another quick shortcut question. Let's, let's check. Uh, this has a, a width of 4. This has a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A length of 8. So the area A will equal 4 times 8. And 4 uh, times 8 is 32. So just remembering they're, they're in blocks of 4. And there's 8 lots of them. If we count along, there's going to be eight lots of four. And that gives us 32 blocks, 32 units squared. Okay, so pause the video now and see if you can find the area of each of these. Okay, and uh, finally, uh, I want you to try and find the area of these. Slightly more complicated, but the idea is still the same. Okay, and because these are slightly tougher, I'm going to give you the answers. Um, so this one here, um, they're uh, in lots of three, and there's five lots of them. Three times five is 15, and these are all centimeters, so centimeters squared. Okay, um, one more thing. We've got a, a five-star challenge for you to try now. So I got five questions, um, all different um, ideas, and we'll really demonstrate how much you've learned in this lesson. Um, so pause the video and see if you can have a crack at these challenges and maybe your teacher or whoever's helping you with your maths can check them off and see how you did. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, talk to you again sometime. Right, so let's see if we can uh, find a slightly quicker way to uh, to go about this process, particularly of finding areas of rectangles, because we can actually break lots of different shapes into rectangles. So if we can work out the area of rectangles, there's lots of different things we can do. Um, so suppose I have this rectangle here and I want to work out its area. Um, I certainly don't want to count all the squares in there because um, we'll be here forever. So I'm going to see if I can um, use some mathematical skills to speed up the process. If um, if we look at this particular rectangle, we can see that it's made up of groups of blocks, actually. Um, here we've got a group of five. So we've got blocks arranged in groups of five. And well, if I was to just wonder, well, how many groups of five are there? So what we could do is that I've got this, this one here, this group of five, and then I've got the one beside it and so on and so forth, right the way down the rectangle. So I can see I've got all these groups of five. Well, how many groups of five are there in total? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There is eleven groups of five. So there's five lots of eleven, or eleven lots of five. So to work out the area really quickly, the area is is going to be 5 lots of 11, or 11 lots of 5, whichever way you want to look at it, which is going to be equal to 5 times 11, which is 55 units squared. So a much more efficient way to um, work out the area of a rectangle.